Hi your buddy Paul here. So I'm starting to have problems with this toilet not wanting to fill back up with water after it's flushed. Now assuming you don't have any kind of water supply issues, it's one of two problems. And I apologize for the way the tank looks on the inside, which is iron stains from a water softener problem I had. So the first problem would be, it's not sealing properly at the bottom of the tank opening here after it's flushed. In my case, I have this rubber flap which is sealing just fine. Your seal may look different, but if it's not sealing properly, then it needs to be replaced. The second problem would be the fill valve is not refilling the tank after it's flushed, which is located here. Your fill valve may look different, but if the tank is not refilling, then it needs to be replaced. Another classic sign that a fill valve is starting to fail is the toilet will make noise even though the tank is full. In my case, it's not filling up at times and it's also noisy, so I know the fill valve needs to be replaced. This is easy to do and it'll save you a lot of money doing it yourself. I picked up this Fluid Master fill valve at Home Depot for less than $7. Here's the new fill valve, refill tube, lock nut, and refill clip. Of all the different types of fill valves that I've seen out there over the years, I personally think this style is the best and you might want to consider switching over to this type. To install the fill valve, first turn off the water supply by the toilet turning the shutoff valve clockwise. If you don't have a shutoff valve, then you'll have to turn off the main water supply. Your main water supply shutoff valve may look similar to this which has a quarter turn handle. Turn the handle clockwise which will stop at a quarter turn. Or your main water supply shutoff valve may look similar to this. Turn the handle clockwise until it stops. Once you have the water shut off, drain the water from the tank by keeping the flush handle held down. Use a sponge or towel to soak up the remaining water inside the tank. Next put something on the floor under the fill valve to catch any additional water. Next, remove the water line from the bottom of the fill valve by turning the connector nut to the left or clockwise. Next, remove the old lock nut by turning it to the left or clockwise. Next, remove the refill clip from the overfill pipe. Now you can remove the old fill valve by lifting it straight up. Next, make sure you clean this area real good where the new one will seat in. The next thing you'll need to do is adjust the height of the new fill valve by holding it firmly here and turning it at the bottom to the left or clockwise. When the new fill valve is installed back in, you want to make sure the top of the fill valve is three inches above the overfill pipe. Also make sure this refill port is pointing towards the right and that the fill valve doesn't interfere with the flush handle. Next, while holding the new fill valve in place at the top with one hand, attach the new lock nut on the end of the fill valve with your other hand by turning it to the right or counterclockwise until it's hand tight. Do not use a wrench. Next, attach the water line to the bottom of the fill valve. Turn the connector nut to the right or clockwise until it's hand tight. Again, do not use a wrench. Now attach one end of the new hose to the refill port. And attach the other end of the hose to the refill clip. Now attach the refill clip to the overfill pipe. Make sure the water coming out of the refill clip is going inside the overfill pipe and not into the tank. Next, turn the water back on and check for leaks. If there are no leaks, then you may need to make one more adjustment. After the water stops filling the tank, the water level should be a half inch below the top of the overfill pipe. If the water level is too low, then turn this adjustment screw clockwise or to the right, which will raise the float. If the water level is too high, then turn the adjustment screw counterclockwise or to the left, which will lower the float. Flush again to reset it and check the water level. I hope you found this helpful, and if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now.